Hello, Broadlander here again. Uh, another video in my series showing my collection of Tilly lamps. And today, my two Tilly table lamps. At the moment, both models 116. But to change that, we now have model 106. So let me tell you about them. This chap you see here is a Tilly TL116 as listed in the Tilly catalogues. It's um, dated from 1946 to about 1950. It has the pork pie font with the narrow clamp washer and nailed grip on the pump. Pressure tip there, straight column with the control cock and in this case a 169 vaporizer, 9 inch. Uh, has the original burner but a replacement gallery which um, I picked up from uh, Julian Shaw, Tilly Lamps and Stoves and they've made a most marvellous job on this. I hasten to say I'm not promoting it for any personal gain, uh, just that I think um, the more collectors and uh, enthusiasts out there who know about the uh, products that Julian is uh, making benefits all of us. So I say no personal gain, but this um, gallery came from Julian and um, it does a marvellous job, also again with a replacement uh, 182 globe. Uh, the chap you see here is now classified as a Tilly 106 as per the Tilly catalogue and supplied with just the onion globe that you originally saw would have still been classified as a 116. So Tilly made the differential on the part numbers between the shade and the globe. Um, this little chap was very kindly given to me by a Mr Knights and was used in Saxlingham Mill in Norfolk for many many years. It's had quite a rough light, it's got big dents here, with a dent here, um, but it's still a good little workhorse, workhorse and is used regularly, mainly in winter time, but regularly within the house. Um, again, it has the, the later type font and a later type pump. Standard straight column, and this one, being a bit shorter, is sporting the 606 or 6 inch vaporizer. The globe that's on it, and also the um, glass shade, our reproductions, the, gla the glass shade was made by John Moncriefs of Scotland. Again, I have no links, affiliations or associations with them, but um, again, at a reasonable price, it's uh, a pretty near copy of the original Tilly Lamps. This little chappy dates um, from around about 1949-1950, when the new font started to come in, probably nearer 1950, um, to around about 1954, and as I say, both lovely lamps, both do an excellent job, and I thoroughly enjoy using them. It's only a short video, and uh, I hope to catch up with you soon in my next one, so once again, please, if you've got any questions, please ask away. Please um, feel free to like, subscribe, and um, I look forward to receiving your comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye now.